Welcome back to Real Estate Mindset. Today's video is going to be absolutely bonkers. Now, the data is in, and even though we have 10.9 months of inventory for new homes, new home builders are still building like crazy. In fact, in August, there was a surge of 12.2% in new construction starts which is absolutely unbelievable in the market that we're in currently. Y'all, this market is fixing to penalize these builders like crazy, which in turn is gonna give us the buying opportunities of our lifetime, at least in my opinion. Now, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna dig into an article from Fox Business, and then I'm also gonna pull up some information from Lenar and from Fred Economic Data, but the name of the article from Fox is titled, Housing Starts on Expectedly jumps 12.2% in August, but building permits drop. So I'll be covering new construction as we continue moving on to 2022 and into 2023, because once again, you guys, I believe that's where we're going to get some of the best buying opportunities, because I think that the builders right now are overbuilding and they're making poor decisions. But remember, I am not your financial advisor. This is my personal YouTube channel, even though my bio is as a realtor, loan officer, and instructor in real estate. And for my efforts, you guys, please like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and do me a favor, shoot me a comment below. I absolutely love hearing from you, but let's get started on this video and this article right now. New home construction unexpectedly surged in August, but a decline in building permits underscores how rising interest rates are continuing to cool overall demand for housing. Housing starts climbed 12.2% last month to an annual rate of 1.575 million units, according to the new Commerce Department data released on Tuesday. That is above economists' forecast for a pace of 1.445 million units. The increase stemmed from a jump in multifamily housing construction, evidence that rising borrowing costs combined with a steep home prices are pushing potential home buyers out of the market. Applications to build which measures future construction slowed to an annual rate of 1.52 million units, which is the lowest since June 2020. Now, it's interesting to note that part of the reason for the surge in August of 12.2% is because new home builders are starting new construction projects that are focusing more on multifamily units like a duplex, triplex, quad, could be a condo, townhouse, things of that nature. But it's really interesting to point out that they are starting to build more affordable housing, which again, if you generally share a wall and generally you don't have a normal sized yard like you do with a single family residence. Now let's hop back into the article and see what else we can learn. But overall, you guys, it's absolutely bonkers that they keep building in such a downturn in the housing market. I mean, they got rug pulled like the rest of us. But let's finish out this article and let's check out some charts after this. The data comes one day after the release of the National Association of Home Builders, Wells Fargo Housing Market Index, which measures the pulse of the single family housing market, the gauge fell for the ninth consecutive month to 46, marking the worst stretch for the housing market since the 2008 financial crisis. So Wells Fargo's home measuring index or housing market index is essentially reporting that we are in the worst shape that we've been in since the 2008 financial crisis in our housing market. Think about that for a minute, y'all, but let's go on. Any reading above 50 is considered positive. Prior to this year, the gauge has not entered negative territory since a brief but steep drop in May 2020. The index has fallen considerably from just one year ago when it stood at 76. It peaked at a 30-year high of 90 in November of 2020, followed by record low interest rates at the same time that American homebuyers purchased. Flush with cash and eager for more space during the pandemic started flocking to the suburbs. Builder sediment has declined every month 
in 2022. And the housing recession shows no signs of abiding as builders continue to grapple with elevated construction costs and an aggressive monetary policy from the federal reserve. So builder sentiment has gone down every single month in 2022. And according to Wells Fargo, our housing market is in as bad a shape as it was in 2008. So why are builders continuing to build and start new construction project? It makes almost absolutely no sense to me, you guys. And not only that, look at how much inventory we have right now for new construction historically. Take a look. Now you guys know that I love to reference Fred economic data. This is the monthly supply of new homes in the United States. Now, right now we're sitting at 10.9 months. And I want to point out that the last time, the very last time we had this much inventory or months of inventory from new construction is April of 2009, which was during the recession. So we again have more monthly supply of new houses than we did right before the Great Recession. And the last time we had this number was April of 2009, which again, you guys, is telling us we already have too much inventory because demand has been completely crippled. But take a look at prices right now. Now, here's the chart from Fred Economic Data for median sales price for new home sales in the United States. And essentially what I want to show you is, well, first of all, this needs to update. And I've been waiting like every single day for both of those charts to update because this is only reporting to July and we're in September. So we need a lot more data. But I want to point out that new home prices actually peaked in April at $458,200. It is now dropped as of July to $439,400 which is a decline of $18,800 or 4.1%. So you may think that 4.1% is not a lot because it's not a lot. 4.1% is not a lot. So I want to give you guys a little bit more hope. I want to show you guys my local housing market and Lennar. You guys know that I love to reference Lennar, but Lennar has actually started price cutting even more in my local housing market here in Houston. And I'm going to show you guys some price cuts from reasonably priced homes. Take a look at this right now. Now this is Lennar's website and you guys know that there's only seven days left for Lennar's year end sell event. So I know that their year apparently ends differently than our year, but that's kind of crazy that their year end sales event only has seven days and we're not even in October yet, but it is what it is. Now this is in Houston, Texas. And I want to show you guys real quick, some of the price points. Now you guys can see here, this is our first one right here. Now this isn't an area that I, this is actually insane. This price cut, this is almost a hundred thousand dollar price cut right here on a house that was listed at 500,000. Now this is actually more reasonably priced, but let me scroll over. I mean, here's another really substantial price cut of $60,000 for Lennar. Again, my local market is showing exceptional signs of price cuts. Here's another one at 50,000. Here's another one at, at 55,000 right here. But again, you guys, as you can see, New construction may be where we want to focus on as we move forward. Now, I really want to end this video with two points. Now, number one, it's looking more and more to me that builders are going to be in much worse shape than I originally thought because of their poor decision making abilities. Why on earth would they continue to build when they can't even sell what they have right now? So that's the first thing. Now, number two, I believe as a result of these bad decisions that as a home, a potential home buyer on the sideline, I believe that I'm going to find a deal of a lifetime from a new home builder. I plan on having them paying all of my construction, giving me all of the upgrades, having them pay my rate down. I am going to do as much in my power as possible to get the deal of my lifetime from a new home builder. And it's going to be really interesting when that happens, because we haven't even gone into the dark months of real estate yet. So I anticipate seeing some really killer deals. In fact, I have already seen some really killer deals, but I plan on seeing even more as we get further on into this year. Now you guys do me a favor, comment below. Let me know what value you got from today's video. And if you're out there investing in real estate, you know, I wish you luck and I hope you win.